This week's Duncan Disorderly column is in support of Sir Michael Fay's decision to resign his membership of the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron, which was in protest of the club's decision to sanction the sale of venue and hosting rights for the next Cup defence by Team New Zealand. Duncan, tell us, why do you agree? Oh, well, good on him for taking a stand. I just, um, it's just all a bit late, you know. I mean, he is iconic to New Zealand sailing and certainly to the America's Cup. And if he had known about, as he's as he's put in his in his argument, if he'd known about um, the position that Team New Zealand was in, and it had been an honest position, had we known that they needed money and what sort of money did they need, then we could have put something together. Michael Fay's quite honest about that. He's quite open about that. He says, hey, we can find the money but just tell us what position you're in so we can go and find how much we need. Um, I don't think New Zealand was given a chance and that's why Michael Fay has um, has resigned because he doesn't think the Yacht Squadron who has final sign-off in all this, I mean, they're hugely powerful in all this, uh, they could have stopped this, they could have not signed the deed. Um, they have and they've allowed a, an event which, let's be honest, New Zealand won. And with that comes the hosting rights, and the hosting rights are valuable. It's huge economic um, boom and uh, boost to New Zealand. Um, and the Yacht Squadron's allowed that to go away by signing off the rights for it to go to Barcelona. And Faye, as a member of the Yacht Squadron, said, hey, you guys can't do this. Uh, this is wrong. And good on for taking a stand. It's just taken too long for him to make a stand, for him to, to, to put his head up above the parapet and say, hey, here's my protest. If only he'd protested earlier, if only we'd known earlier. He, he obviously feels really strongly about it, uh, as do you, it appears. Hmm. Um, what have we lost? Well, the, what we've lost is, um, is a massive um, economic event, which is worth hundreds of millions to the, the New Zealand economy at a time where we need it. You know, Auckland, needs, uh, and the, Auckland needs a boost, right? Okay, so Auckland needs um, an event that um, Hospo can say, hey, look, here's an event, um, the restaurateurs. Auckland City is designed around this. Um, the waterfront has been designed around the America's Cup coming back here. Uh, if you look at Silo Park and in and around downtown, Britomart, there's huge investment, commercial base, huge investment in and around there that's designed for an event like the America's Cup. We have designed um, bases around there. The, the names are still on the bases. Who's going there? Not these guys. They're off to Barcelona. Grant Dalton signed away the the cup that New Zealand had 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 well, rightly thought was theirs, and the hosting rights rightly thought was theirs. And as one man, he's done it himself. He, so he's taken the name New Zealand and and sold us. Um, I think New Zealanders should be angry about this. This is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Businesses rely on activity down there, um, and also in a in a more um, wider sense, the mood of the nation. Like if we can get in behind something, um, feel good about something, I think you know, consumer confidence needs that. So I think it's a massive loss. I, I think New Zealanders should be should be angry that an event was taken away from them that we rightfully won and we won the hosting rights too. Now, the reason that was given for it to be taken away was that it wasn't financially viable. Why should we have a competition like that if we're going to be plugging money into it? And in the same breath, he also says that if we defend it successfully in Barcelona, that we might be able to come back here and defend it here. So if it wasn't financially viable now, why is it financially viable in the future? We weren't given a shot at financial viability. That's designed to make Dalton look good. It's designed to justify his own means. Oh, I think oh, I don't think it's credible. Do you think the government tried hard enough no. to keep the competition? No, I don't. I, don't I, I believe that they thought there was a top-of-town event. You know, with the Labour Party, I don't think they were close enough to it, but that might be the structure of the whole um, setup that we don't have enough of a seat at the table. Dalton had ultimate power. Um, we allowed him to have ultimate power along with the Yacht Squadron. We put all that money into it, $300 million over time. And if we were to invest, if you were to invest $300 million of your own money into something, would you not want to say in how things are in the future regarding that money? Or are you a silent investor that doesn't care, that you trust that everything will be okay? You can't trust the America's Cup. It's, it's full of, uh, has a history of litigation and lawyers and, 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 and odd things that happen. Uh, I th we needed to be closer to it. And I, I don't believe the government was close enough to it. And, and, and you can see that by the result. Do you think it's likely it'll ever come back here? I'd like to think so, but I think New Zealanders, I think this has left a, 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 a bitter taste in, in the mouths of New Zealanders. I think they know what it was. I think it was selling out of New Zealand, and I feel strongly about this. I have done since day one, and that's why I've written about this again, because um, Sir Michael Fay's um, withdrawal, uh, resignation from you know his membership uh, from the Yacht Squadron, uh, I think is timely, but it's a bit late, but... It says something to me that, you know, he's disgusted at this. And I think all New Zealanders need to think about what, what's been lost here. The ability for people who have invested in this in this cup, even if they've just bought $10 red socks every year for the last 10 years, 
to go to the North Head and watch an event in their amphitheater of the Hauraki Golf to watch it and to see it in their own backyard it's lost and along so is the taxi fare so is the water taxi fare so is the bar so is the restaurant so is all the security work all those economic activities have been lost to Barcelona Duncan thanks for coming in you're welcome